Welcome to part three of Did Your OCs Get a Glow Up or a Glow Down in Gotcha Life 2. Genuinely, you made him a lot more visually charismatic and simpable. Like, like here, he's he's pulling no no women. Here, oh, he's pulling women. I think you did a great job on the new outfit. It's very adorable. You can kind of tell like what's going on. Maybe camping, exploring. She's in her. She's got her goggles and glasses too, and she's just in a lot of heavier clothing. Here, it looks like pastel homeless, and I wasn't sure what was going on. This might just be me being biased because I love these horns, but I actually preferred the Gotcha Club version of the hair and the horns and the flowers. I think they just work very, very well. But I really like how you did the outfit on the Gotcha Life 2 version, and the face seems a lot more alive, and she seems less dead inside here. So I'm gonna go like 50-50. I don't know what was going on with the whole using a tie as an open shirt thing, but can we talk about how adorable this pose and face is? Like, can I just give him a forehead kiss, please? He is so adorable. I think this is definitely a big glow up and improvement. I'm not a huge fan of this style of faces, but that's just me personally, so I am very biased. But beyond the face, I think the hair looks excellent. The choice of accessories is excellent. It's great. Now you gotta know, I'm not a huge fan of headless characters, but this one takes the cake. Like the detail you did for like the, the cut neck, that's very impressive and I really like that. I couldn't have, I, I wouldn't be able to tell what that is on the Gotcha Life one. And the headphone cord, that's that's impressive too. So like, good job, dude. Dude, she can take me to heaven right now. I I am ready to ascend. Yes, please. This is definitely a glow up. I mean, nothing against this character it was fine, but this definitely it does it for me. This freaking adorable little like angel cupid little thing. Like, just wanna pat him on the head, put him in my pocket, maybe. I love it. This, this is the glow up we needed. Here, here she just looks like a teenager with angsty backstory. Here, here she looks like she like leads the freaking rebellion in her city and she rides motorcycles and stuff. Like I am here for this. The facial expressions, oh my gosh, I adore it. I don't know what happened between the Gotcha Club and Gotcha Life 2 timeline, but this dude now has a crutch and I hope he gets better soon. He looks cool though. While at first glance there weren't any major differences, it's the small details that are really pulling this together. Love the skirt. Okay, it's not a skirt, I just don't know what to call it. I love the hair details, a lot more floofy. I love this little scarf. I know it's not a scarf, I don't know what it is. I just love it. Ooh, she went from like Sundere background character to like lady of the house. I love these little accessories for the gloves. This is excellent. I would say facial wise, I honestly like Gotcha Club more, but outfit wise, oh my gosh, Gotcha Life 2 takes that. Look at the freaking detail. Like they're both stunning, don't get me wrong, but the detail in this outfit is just insane. Ooh, yes, ooh, yes. This one. I know what you were going for, but it comes off a little strange and doll-like. This, however, ooh, she could be on like Harajuku Street, my dude. That is beautiful. The glow up here. Like, she looked like maybe slightly insane, like on a cringe level, but here it's like, whew, it's getting hot in here. Like, what, what she got in that needle, my dude? Like, dang. All right. Also, what hairspray are you using, man? Oh my gosh, can we talk about how cute the eyes were just in the first place in Gacha Club? That's impressive. And I really, really love how you redid this character in Gacha Life 2 and kept the face very, very similar, but enhanced it. And the hair and the little, the little wings and the dress, it's also adorable. Yep, this went from like cosplay to like, this is my daily attire and this is who I am. That's, that's how big of a glow up it was. Ooh, this is an underrated hack right here with the ear. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. Aw, see, see he looks like a real child now, which I really appreciate. That's really adorable. Like some sleepy ice prince. Just give him a little pat, tuck him in the bed. That's adorable. Ooh, yeah, look. And with the with the veins, it now looks like lava cracks. That's that's smart. I like this character. Um, this doesn't even look like a gotcha character anymore. This just looks like chibi promotional art for some like game. 
pop off, my dude. Ooh, the floofy tail. Oh my gosh, it just kind of sweeps down. I love that. I feel like the outfit is a lot more visually clear. I can see what's going on. I like the outfit here. I like this character. But this one kind of just is a lot more visually appealing. Oh, I really like the stomach piercing and the little skulls. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. I'd say this is a glow up for sure. Like you, you use some useful hacks here, honestly. I especially like the headphones. So, good job, nice work. I'm gonna have to say I honestly like the Gotcha Club version better just cause I feel like her hair was fluffier and the outfit was cozier and she just looks really friendly. The Gotcha Life 2 version feels like angst, honestly. Oh wow. It's like a completely different character. They're not even the same anymore. I want to know what happened to this character's lore compared to this character. Good lord. This was definitely a glow up and I honestly love the eyes. I don't know what was going on over here with these eyes, but all right. <laughs> but I love this and I love the hair. Her new design looks very hardcore and I think it fits her character a lot better. Here, it, I, I'm not sure what was going on. But, but it ended well, and that's what matters. Ooh, 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 look at him in his little top hat. He's sneaky. He's up to no good. He's about to do some, like, devious crimes or something. I don't know. I like this new design of his. Same sentence, different font. Same exact design, but so different, and that's what makes it. What, what was going through your mind back then, man? Because holy cow, she looks so fine now, but... But why? Why why would you use those eyes? And what's going on with the neon shirt? And I'm just so glad it ended up well, alright? Ooh, ooh, glow up. I'm going to assume this is like a succubus character for sure. And honestly, it goes hard, man. Before it was like some moonlight fairy or something, but this is the glow up we needed here. The bangs, they're a little funny but in a good way. I think it fits her really well. Aw, it's interesting to just see the design got a lot more cute and feminine, and I really, really love this new outfit. Oh my gosh. But I also honestly love the old design too. Like, you did a really good job, but I almost miss those old colors, but I love how they translated into the new design. So great work, my dude. This redesign is definitely one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. So first off, the eyes already looked really good. I'm pretty sure this is a mod. But gosh dang, these eyes fit her so well. Oh my gosh. And the new little swimsuit is so cute. And I love the little fish. This is a great design. Oh my gosh, the cyberpunkification of this character. Yes. Already looked so good, but honestly, I love the new eyes and the new hair a lot more. And just... The, the outfit is a lot more tactical, in my opinion, and it fits really freaking well. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is actually my favorite one so far. Like, like what? I don't even know what to commentate on it because we just went from like, basic chick who looks like she dresses like she's about to go perform something to like, God? The God of Gods? I, I don't know. I love it though. <laughs> is it wrong that I love that he's using this like gun as a cane? <laughs> like that's just a whole level of sass right there. Good lord. He went from typical bad boy to what on earth? I, I don't know if we're moving in the right direction here, but the eyes are kind of cute. I'll give you that. This is definitely a very new style. Congratulations. She looks so friendly. Like, like a modern day Disney princess? Like, animals would come up to her and she'd be like, oh my gosh, I speak chipmunk. 